I haven't done one of these in a while. It's I'm going to do a comparison between my Blood Python and Bow Constrictor. This is at the four plus year mark, so they are they're adults at this point, and they will continue to get larger. They're both eating large rats at this point. My bow is eating uh, once every three weeks to a month, and the blood python has been moved back from every two weeks to every three weeks on larger rats at this point. And she still hasn't gone through a color change. I don't think she ever will. At this point, I don't think she will. So she's, she's just going to be a brown adult. Uh, she's got a little reddish hue to her, but she basically has her baby colors. Um, I don't know. She just she's a Malaysian red blood. She just didn't go through the color change. So I'm sh I know that that happens, and it's not entirely unusual for that to happen. But um, yeah, I'm gonna work with her for a minute, get her calmed down, and then I'll pull them both out and show you guys. So got them both out here. Uh, you can see the bow has caught up in girth. A little bit. Um, so size wise, they're about the same. Um, she's still kind of agitated. She's I'm still been I've still been working with her, um, but yeah, you can just see those colors and stuff. So she yeah, she never went through a color change, unfortunately, but she's still gorgeous, and that just goes to show you that they don't have to go through that color change to still be gorgeous animals. But um. Yeah, these are beautiful snakes, and you see she's gotten quite a bit larger. Um, I'm trying to watch her because I still don't trust her. She still gives me attitude, even to this day, even after four years of working with her. But um, there's an aerial view of the two snakes next to my feet. Yeah, she has just gotten huge. She's eating those large rats and... Yeah, she's just gotten huge, massive. She's very, very heavy now. Just look at the size of her. She's just just a very big, bulky animal. It's incredible. So yeah, they're incredible animals to work with. And if uh, you want to know more about how to take care of them and stuff, I have videos on how to take care of blood pythons. And uh, they are well worth it. Just... Uh, Make sure you work with them as much as you can, especially as babies, because they need, they have a reputation of having attitude, but if you work with them enough, then they can be great pets, and uh, so can the boas as well. The boas make great pets, but um, but yeah, those these colors and these blood pythons are just amazing. There's the there's the underside, just the blacks. I try to get them in this natural sunlight because the sunlight brings out their colors a lot better. But yeah, those those patterns are just nothing else like it. But yeah, they are impressive animals, and they do they are a handful. So I would not re recommend these to beginners, like I've mentioned before. They are definitely um, for more experienced keepers. But thanks for watching. I will continue to post updates and videos. Again, here's another aerial view. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated.